I pull out a plant here, you can see how brown the roots are. Oops, and how everything just snaps off. The arugula here, at first I thought it was a nutritional problem I was having. We checked all the probes, the EC and the pH probe, thought we had the problem under control, and it just kept getting worse. As you can see from this lettuce here, it's not doing really well. The bottom leaves are turning brown. That's because the roots are compromised and it's not getting the nutrients it needs. Hi everyone. Just wanted to come out in the greenhouse. I know how everybody always shows you the best of everything. Well, we're going to show you the ugly today. We've been running our greenhouse for six and a half years really hard. And I could keep it limping along here, but things aren't growing like they should. And I don't want to put a bunch of chemicals in it. So we are going to do a deep clean. We're at a time in the market right now, it's the end of the market season, before the winter season, that we can bite the bullet and go ahead and get this done. So what happened this summer is I started noticing my lettuce wasn't growing really well. I was having brown leaves on the bottom and the roots were breaking off. And at the end of the summer, we decided to pull all the tomato plants and I had the white fly problem and there's some fungus gnats. Well, the fungus gnats actually got out into the NFT system. So upon further inspection of the growing medium, I took it under the microscope and I saw fungus gnat larvae. Didn't know anything about them, so I read up about it. And they actually damaged the roots. And every system always has pythium in it. And with the root damage from the gnat larvae, it really damaged my lettuce. And that's why we decided to do this deep clean because it took over my system. First thing we're gonna do is get all the debris out of the nutrient channels, pull all, everything out of there, get all the roots out of the bottom. And then we're going to clean and sanitize the nutrient tank and the whole system. So I'm going to get a lot of help with this project. Devin's going to come out and help me, of course. And then Crap King is going to come out and help me sanitize the whole system. They have a new foaming cannon or something like that they were talking about. And it's supposed to be able to sanitize the whole nutrient tank and all of my uh, systems here. It's going to go through all the NFT channels. It's going to go through the return types, all my spaghetti tubes and they have a new cleaning agent they're gonna try out. What we're gonna do is clean and sanitize all the hard surfaces in the greenhouse from the top all the way down to the bottom. So here are the billow pumps. Doug is going to replace all the feed tubes, get everything painted, get it all cleaned up, and back in tip-top shape again like it was new. So here, when I turned off the system, I put our pH probe into a storage container because you have to make sure your probe is wet and there's a special solution you need to put in there. Otherwise, your probe will not work again. So we brought some white ground cover about a year ago. Didn't have a chance to get installed, so now's the perfect time to get that done. And what that's going to do is help me keep underneath the channels clean and keep any debris from getting into the rocks. This was our original tomato nutrient station here. Now we're replacing it with the dosatron, so I won't have to manually mix nutrients. We're going to replace the jet fan tubes because there's a lot of contaminants in there. They've been up for six years. Also going to do maintenance on all of the heaters here, Doug's heat exchanger for the wood burner, all the exhaust fans, and the jet fan. Going to do any painting that's needed, and any cleanup. We're also going to be pulling out all of these pipes and the drip lines and the emitters and replacing them all. Going to bring our big power washer back here with a concrete scrubber thing that goes along here and, and polishes all the concrete and gets any debris up. So here's the feed pipe for the wet wall. As you can see by all the algae and calcium buildup, we need to do some cleaning and some painting back here. So we're gonna replace all the wet wall pads here, because you can see they're pretty nasty, and we're gonna replace the jet fan tube. It hasn't been replaced in seven years, so it's about time. So Doug is gonna do maintenance on all of my mechanicals here all my heating units, check all the fans and all the components. It's better to do preventative maintenance and to keep everything going so you don't come back in the greenhouse and find a problem in the middle of the night. So here's our nursery channels that we currently use. We're going to redo all this and make sure they're all sealed up so we don't get any leaks. So here's our dosatron system that you've seen from previous videos. Looking forward to getting this up and running so we can have all of our beta buckets automated. It'll make growing a lot better and I'll get a much better product. This is our exhaust fan number three. As you can see, Doug's repaired it a couple times. We've had some problems with this blade cracking here. And also, as you can see, it's wobbly and the bearing's going. So we're gonna do a video on how to replace bearings. So I hope you join us on our deep clean project here. We're gonna be filming each step as we go along and put up a video on it for you. We're really looking forward to having a clean, healthy environment here in the greenhouse again. Please like and subscribe to us, and please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions down below.